Now to our Saturday series, Will It or Won't It? And this morning, we're uh, pretty hoppy about it. Hey, put say that. Yes. Will Gans uh, <laughs> trying out the hottest trends in Easter decor, and he's here with some excellent suggestions. Our producer, Adam, really had fun uh, with the wording this morning. Hoppy um, and excellent. I'm a little disappointed that we moved to a, so a smaller screen for my face. To yeah. fill up oh, this yeah, video. you like the bigger yeah, Will Gans. Was the other one just too much? Bouncing around. No, Maybe a little enough. bit. <laughs> so, so let's kick things off. This is a new spin in on a, a classic tradition with Easter eggs. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Spring has sprung and the garden isn't the only thing popping off this season. Social media is a bloom with new ideas for Easter decor and sweet treats. This is an excellent idea we spotted on TikTok from Kelly Oster. Instead of the traditional dye job, this hack, which has racked up nearly 5 million views on TikTok, involves using a muffin tin to keep tidy, baking soda, water, and food coloring as paint. And then you use vinegar to sort of give your eggs a tie-dye effect. Okay. Look, I made these myself. Pass them around, class. Wow. You work Perfect hard. for these any Swifty really cool. yeah, who might be in their lover era, you guys. <laughs> Don't bring <laughs> eggs to a Taylor it? Swift concert. So it's baking soda yeah. and food coloring and water. That's your paint. And then you pour vinegar over the top of it, and it kind of gives it wow. this yeah, horrible effect. I like it. Uh, so, so in your opinion, will it or won't it? It will. And I think this okay. is actually a really good one for families whose kids might be a little bit older, like yours, with because that vinegar and baking soda reaction reminds me of the volcano experiment. Yes. You know? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a lot like that. It's a good one. All right. Love great. it. No. Yeah. Well, all right. So what's next to me here? This is a DIY springtime wreath of sorts. Yes. Let's not zoom in too close to that wreath, you guys. <laughs> okay. This sprouted up on Instagram from Kelsey Savage, where she's teaching her nearly quarter million followers and myself how to make a wreath using a wire hanger, a pool noodle, and fake florals. You undo the top of the hanger, slide your noodle or pipe insulator over it, shape it into a circle, and then reattach the hanger ends. You pop your greenery and florals into the foam, and voila, a very beautiful handmade wreath. And now I'm the talk of the ninth floor in my building. I bet you already were. Oh, well. <laughs> for different reasons. For different reasons. <laughs> Good reason. There he goes again. <laughs> so what, what's the verdict, Mr. Okay, ninth floor? Okay, for me, it won't. The time it took to source all that stuff and put it together, I am not as crafty as Kelsey is on the internet. It's great for her, great for anyone super creative, super crafty, but I think maybe better left to their profession. I'm just looking for Okay. Um, yeah, if you look too closely, it's not, it it's loses not the from magic. a distance. It looks good, but up close, the, um, the styrofoam yeah. in the back. Is, yeah, and that yeah, that's it. That's a, great. no, you that's a me great. thing. That's not a hack thing. Yeah, so yeah. for someone, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end on a sweet note because yes. we're asking, will it or won't it, about the homemade version of a fan favorite, a personal favorite, the Reese's Eggs. Exactly. Y'all know about Reese's Eggs. Well, this is a copycat version that we are whipping up courtesy of the Squeaky Mixer on TikTok. The mixture consists of butter, confectioner, sugar, and peanut butter, of course. And then after forming that into egg shapes, you're gonna put them in the freezer for a couple of hours so they hold their form better. Dip them in your choice of chocolate. I use dark chocolate because that's my favorite. Put, oh. put them back in the fridge and then that's what you have there. Uh, I think- I like it. Yeah. I, I, now the, the dark chocolate makes sense that uh -huh. that's your favorite. Yes. One? Yeah. So, okay. will it or won't? It's all about the ratio for <laughs> exactly. these. Will it or won't it? Will it or won't it? For me, it will. I think I might tweak the uh, recipe a little bit. Less sugar, more peanut butter on my next round. But, okay. yeah. I I mean. I, I'm a fan. Thank you. Right. I like this yeah, one. Yeah. Thank you, Will. Thank well, you. Ratio is bomb. <laughs> Thank you so much, Will. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.